And Ellie joins me in studio with more and also joining me Middle East correspondent Emily Rose. Ellie, let's look at actually what this could mean in practic practicality. What would a US recognition of the Golan Heights mean on the ground? Well, I think that similar questions, if not the exact same question, mm -hmm. was asked ahead of uh, the uh, uh, moving of the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. It's not as if Jerusalem is now different. It's not as if the streets look different. It's not as if the uh, US-Israel diplomacy is any different. But the symbolic aspect here is very much uh, meaningful. And when we're talking about the Golan Heights, that means that uh Similarly to the current situation, even though it is not official, any potential violation of this territory will be even uh, more uh, volatile or, or would mean uh, perhaps uh, fiercer uh, action on behalf of, uh, of uh, Israel. So we're not really looking at the dramatic change on the ground, but rather on a symbolic status that has uh, absolute, uh, absolutely a significant meaning. But should Israel not be concerned about the consequences? You, of course, likened it to uh, the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Should Israel not be concerned about the consequences, say, of a U.S. recognition of the Golan Heights, considering uh, the hostile forces on Israel's northern border? But this is exactly the, the plea now, because it's not just a diplomatic or a political uh, uh, case, but rather a security one. First of all, there's no one, uh, no uh, clear entity to hand over those uh, territories to begin with. So there's really no one to negotiate with uh, uh, over the status of, uh, of the Golan uh, Heights. And second, we do see so many different forces, so many unfolding developments on Israel's uh, northern uh, border that this zone, these territories are even more significant when we talk about Israel's security depth. And uh, this is why this is the right time. And again, connecting it, of course, to the impending uh, withdrawal uh, to uh, uh, reinforce this, uh, this uh, plea because the security aspect of it is even more uh, um, present than it uh, was before. And what do you say to that, Emily? I suppose, what does Israel have to gain and what does the United States have to gain by recognizing its sovereignty? Well, the only way that this might actually fit into some kind of a future deal or diplomatic relations, it could be that this is the United States way of saying this is compensation for the withdrawal from yeah. Syria. Israel isn't exactly comfortable with that uh, withdrawal and this could be a, a token of perhaps uh, a, a friendship token, mm -hmm. saying this is what you're getting in compensation for that withdrawal. That was also speculated about the uh, Jerusalem embassy move. This is a token ahead of a potential peace right. plan that will be presented and uh, as might not be to the liking of Israel. Between Israel and the United States continues to get to, to get closer and we heard from John Bolton overnight saying it's the strongest a relationship that United States and Israel have had. What kind of a response then could we expect from those who would not be in favour of this move? Well, we'd have to expect outrage when we're talking about uh, from certain populations. When we're talking about those that live in the Golan Heights, there are already Druze uh, citizens who live in that area mm -hmm. who hold uh, Syrian citizenship. They consider themselves Syrian. Uh, they now adhere to Israeli uh, government policy, laws, municipal uh, uh, services, etc. But they do still identify as Syrian. So you would expect anger from those pockets of populations. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, but uh, on the other side, as Ellie mentioned, if you're talking about any kind of future deals that would involve any kind of permanent status deals, mm -hmm. where we've seen the Golan Heights it be inserted into past uh, deals, though that was at a different era. It wasn't at a time when Syria was embattled and entwined mm -hmm. in an ongoing Syrian civil war. So we were looking at a different reality. Right. Today, as Ellie mentioned, any kind of future deal, the lines would be implicated not necessarily practically on the ground, All but right. rather on a more symbolic sense. And in terms of that future deal and in terms of that territory, as you've talked about more famously, we're often talking about the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza and the status of that, not only the Golan Heights.